Hello, it's Claire Leroy here, and I just wanted to give you a very quick walkthrough and behind the scenes of what you will get if you purchase this client project tracker. So it can be a little bit tricky for me to explain via the images on the shop page exactly what you get when you purchase the client project tracker. However, I just wanted to give you a little walkthrough of what a completed version of this tracker would look like and some of the functionality that you will find within the tracker itself. This is a very, very powerful tracking tool for your client projects, and you can track many many projects on the go at once I will come back to this in a second and just give you a very quick walkthrough but let's start here this is what you will get access to as soon as you download the or purchase the template from my shop and that is access to my Kajabi platform. My Kajabi platform is where all of my courses and templates are hosted. And as you can see, you will get access to the template. You will get access to a link to download the template into Notion. I'll come back to that in a second. And you get this video here, which is just under an hour long, which walks you step by step by step through all of the different things I'm going to show you in this video. However, it will show you in a lot of detail how to get each of the areas set up, how the template all works. So if you are looking at this video thinking, goodness, how will I get that set up? It's extremely, extremely easy and I set you up for success with that video there. If you've had no experience using Notion before, don't worry, you are welcome because Notion is an absolutely life-changing, amazing tool. I've run my entire business and life pretty much out of Notion. You don't need a paid Notion account, you can just use a free Notion account to use this template. The only reason you may like to upgrade to a paid Notion account is if you want to use the tracker with others. So if you're using it by yourself, you don't need to pay for a version of Notion. If you do want to use it with others, for example, team members or anything like that, you will need to have a paid Notion account. I walk you through all of that, as I said, in this setup video, so don't worry about that too much. Inside Kajabi, you also get access to this budget and order tracker setup video. The budget and order tracker is actually a template that's sold separately in my shop. However, it comes for free as part of the client project tracker. So it's built into the client project tracker and this video just shows you how to set up that portion of the template. So uh, you basically get two templates in one if you purchase the client project tracker. So that is the actual Kajabi area and the videos that will help you walk through. Let's just have a very quick look through the template itself so you can just get a bit of an idea of its functionality. This is the template that you will get when you uh, download the template from Kajabi. It is empty at the moment. It has no data in it. However, you will eventually have it looking something like this, which is just a completed example that I want to walk you through where you have all of your own projects. These are just example projects I've put in to just illustrate the template itself, but you will have example projects or your own, sorry, projects in here once you've built the template out. Across the top here is a section where you've got all of your in progress tasks and you can see those are all set up here. So this is sort of like just a quick view area of all of your current projects in the works and all of the things that you're working on in each project. So just a very quick overview. You've got a quick capture section here, which is just if you're busy and don't have time to go into each of the individual projects and update the tasks, you can just drop them in here and um, sort those out at another time. So that's just a little sort of reference section for you. And down here is really the, I guess, meat and potatoes of what the template is all about, which is the actual um, complicated, well not complicated, but the detailed uh, project tracking. So this is your full client list. We are going to click into each of the templates in a second and I'll show you all of the detailed functionality in there and what's possible with it. But just let me show you quickly from here, you can view your projects in different ways. So this is all basically a database, uh, a very sort of complex database. It's a little bit like Asana if you've ever used that or Excel, but it's sort of like a combination of all of those things together. It's a very powerful platform notion and you can view the same data in different ways. So this is the same projects listed out just as a full view of project dates and client names and that sort of thing. You can view them as the projects by status. So you might have some that are on hold at the moment or not moving forward at all. You might have some on hold. You might have some on a wait list. You might have some that you're working on at the moment. You might have some that you just haven't done a consultation for yet, but they're in the pipeline. So that's your pipeline. You've got a timeline view so you can sort of see your workload 
workload and where you've got gaps in your workload that you could slot different projects in and where your wait list comes up and that sort of thing. So um, that's that and you can view by calendar as well. So let's come back to this view and I want to come into one of the projects Bondi that I know I've built out in a lot of detail and just show you exactly how the template works. So whenever you start a new project, the template will automatically populate. So you just click this new button and a new template will populate here, as you can see, new client template, and it populates with all of the empty information here that you can then start to build out. It's already got a pre-built out project plan. You can update that however you want to. However, this has the typical stages of a design project. You can change all of this. Everything is customizable, but it's all been built out with um, just basically the details that I run with my own client projects. Uh, let's go back into this one that I built out though of Bondi and I'll just show you how it works. So you can enter the names of the clients, the address, the project dates, the phase the project is up to, which can be changed just by sort of this click of a button and what um, sort of the status of the project is there. This will be pre-populated from down here, which is the project plan. So this is your sort of overview of where the project is up to. You've got a uh, client actions items area, which is taken from the client actions items section, which I'll show you in a second, which is basically where you can drop in things for your clients to do. So you don't have to do lots of emailing back and forth. Your clients can have access to that page and they can action items from that page. You've got another section here to just keep track of. I used to like to keep track of things like hobbies and children and children's names and things because when you have a lot of uh, clients on the go it can be easy to forget those details however it's those little details when you remember them about clients that they notice so that's a place to track sort of those sorts of things um, you've got your project contacts I've got Jason Bourne as the builder here I've got Jack Sparrow as the cabinet maker and Tony Montana as the architect so just being silly there but you would add your own project contacts um, and then you've got the full project plan and in every section of the project plan you can then click in and you've got a to-do list in in every section of that project plan. So um, you can add or subtract from this as per your own workflow. However, you have um, just some step-by-step -step stuff built out for you already inside this project plan that you know, hopefully makes it easy and saves you time. Down here is that budget and order tracker that I was just telling you about that is sold separately in my shop but is built into this template. And this is something where you can view your full budget and orders and see what's been ordered, when things are due, stock levels with the supplier, whether the clients approve them, a link directly out to the item, the cost, the budget, the budget in total. And again, this is the same database with different views. So you can view it by room. So you can sort of see what the budget is per room if that's helpful. You can see what the budget is per type. So for example, you can see your furniture budget is this versus your lighting budget is this. And that all automatically updates as you start to enter the data into that table. You can also view by this, what I call concept view. So that's just a way if you drag and drop images into your database that you can just see everything working together. And that is the budget and order tracker. And each item you can then open and you can see the photo there. You can see where everything's up to and you can add all of the data about that particular um, product. You can add spec sheets, you can add everything and drag and drop other things into this particular entry for the item. So that's a really good internal sort of order tracking system for you because that can be super complicated to keep track of as many of you would be aware if you've been trying to do that in different ways. So um, I've found this life changing, this budget and order tracker for just staying on top of orders and just knowing where everything's up to and um, which I still have to action and who I need to chase and all of that sort of thing. So that's the budget and order tracker. Up here we haven't been through these quick links so let me just quickly walk you through those. So every single project, this is remember in an individual project, has a place to drop the scope of work. You just take that out of your scope of works or your contract or your fee proposal. It has a place to drop your project plan. That's the same as the project plan that you will see 
out on this main page. It's just another way to get to it. You will have a place to drop in your plans and drawings. So they're all in the one place. If you want easy access to those, especially if you've got other people sharing this so that you've all working from the same documents, you can drop in an ideas database. So if you want to keep track of entries from the web or things that you found around the place, you can drag and drop that into the ideas database. I'll show you how to do that in the walkthrough video that comes with the template. Um, that's what we just looked at the ideas database. We've got the another link to the budget and order tracker. This is just it standing on its own page rather than as a quick link like we've got down the bottom so same thing and these are all that's like going to auto pop auto update i should say with this one up here so they're the same database just different views of the same database this is the client actions items uh, page that i was telling you about you can uh, link this out with your clients you can share it with them via this share button and they will then have access to this and you can get them to do things like review a quote you can drag and drop the quote in there you can Get them to pay an invoice you can drag and drop the invoice in there so this saves just back and forth with emails and it keeps all of your client interactions in one place and all of their action items you can also use the client interactions log to just track site visits um, calls that might happen you might want to put in some um, decisions that were made in a site visit and keep all of that in one place as well rather than have that all over your emails and text messages and all of that sort of thing. This is really good for your risk management as a business owner because it means that all of your client interactions are sitting here in one place. If there's ever any disputes or anything like that, as long as this is being kept up to date carefully, then it means that all decisions will be tracked and this will be a very good risk management protection type section for you. So that is basically the overview of the client project tracker and that sort of page that you can see here that is the level of detail that you will be able to track for every single one of your projects so each one if you click into Willoughby it has its own section with all of those same pieces of information if you click into Roseville you'll see it has all of its own project information and you can see everything at the drop of a hat across this page in terms of what needs to be done across each of the projects and that's your sort of summary board so hopefully that gives you a bit more of a sense of what the tracker is all about as i said yours comes empty this video here that i was showing you is what you will use to uh, set your your tracker up and as a, it might seem a little bit overwhelming but it's all built out for you that's the benefit of this tracker i've built it all out for you you just have to enter the data and it will all start to spit this out for you as soon as you just enter the information in so really good really inexpensive way to keep track of your projects no ongoing fees no subscription fees can be used on the free version of notion hopefully saves you a ton of time and hopefully helps you to get really streamlined and organized in your design business reach out if you've got any questions about any of that or have any questions about the template in general i'd be very happy to help otherwise i hope you find this a really helpful and time saving and life saving template and uh yeah have a look through my other templates in the shop otherwise i will chat to you soon bye for now